Y O YouTube, it's your boy Mike T's back at you with another video. Today, we're gonna be making a custom from scratch, and I'm gonna use all my ideas and try to put them in a video and help to explain it the best way possible. A lot of times, people ask me, How did you come up with that idea? Where did you get that concept from? How did you make it all work and fit and go onto a blank? A lot of times, you gotta do research. Something may catch your eye, and guarantee you, me, if it catches your eye, it's gonna catch the next person's eye. So let's tap right on in to how to create a custom from scratch. Ideas and all. So my cousin wants a uh, Stiller's for his birthday shirt, but he doesn't want a Stiller's shirt that everyone else has. So some things that I typically do is I browse the web. I ask questions to myself such as, well, how many times have the Stiller's been to the Super Bowl? How many times have they lost? What teams have they go up against? And as you can see, as I was scrolling, I found a website, um, timetoast.com, that actually goes over the times that they won and the times that they lost. So their first win seems to be January 12, 1975, Super Bowl. I don't know the Roman numeral numbers, but we're just going to say IX just for that. I will put it somewhere in the caption to where you can see it. But it gives you the date, it gives you the Super Bowl number, and it also gives you that it was at Tulane Stadium, New Orleans, Louisiana, Pittsburgh Steelers 16, Minnesota Vikings 6, MVP Franco Harris, and RB uh, running back Pittsburgh. And it just gives you those little gems. And I think it actually gives you what it, the actual Super Bowl looked like during that time. No, I'm not going to steal any of these, but I just needed this information so I can incorporate it into the shirt. This is how an idea starts for some of my creative customs. So Pittsburgh has actually been to the Super Bowl a total of eight times. And they've actually won a total of six times. And like I just showed you on Time Toast, there's all types of websites out there that can give you play-by-play -play action, what the actual Super Bowl number is, as it is in Roman numerals. And no, I don't know my no my Roman numerals off the top. Please don't come from my neck in the um, comment section. But I will post it somewhere on the screen, the actual Roman numbers that translate into the numbers that we know as today. But let's start on... Um, forming some type of concept around the six Super Bowl wins that they did have, AKA the Pittsburgh Steelers. So from that website, I pulled the six times that they won, the actual number of the Super Bowl, the team they were against in the year. Now, as you can see, I'm starting to form some type of a design that's gonna look nice on the shirt. Now, whatever font you go with to type this out, it's totally up to you. Remember, the sky is the limit. Well, actually break the sky with your creativity. So if you didn't want to have the Steelers in a regular time numeral um, Roman, go ahead and switch it to one of the other thousands or millions of fonts that you do have. Now for the instance of this video, I'm going to show a cutout and these, these will all be in yellow. But just know, I'm going to cut them out in all the Steelers colors. So as we do know, the Steeler logo has multiple colors in it. Um, a lot of times for the chrome look, they will keep just that like polished chrome look with the stillers in the background and then they'll have the red, blue, white, and black. Or it'll just be the uh, regular stillers logo with the red, the white, and the blue surrounded with another circle that's sometimes black. Whatever you can think of as far as creativity, go ahead and use that in order to create something that's one of a kind. Now... A little word of advice. Do not, I repeat, do not just go on and take the NFL logo for the Steelers. Because guess what? They will be at your doorstep and they will be knocking hard and you will have to pay up something. So the NFL is pretty touchy on their um, logos and the way that things are handled, especially when it comes to merchandise, especially when it comes to showing things off. So a lot of times you see that I will make NFL shirts, but I will never make the real actual NFL shirt. I will make a custom that's similar to like with the colors, um, some of the references, the terrible tiles, you know, things of that nature to actually bring the custom them alive but i repeat do not use anything that's registered to the nfl as one it's a copyright infringement two it's an unnecessary headache three i don't know about y'all bank account but i know mines can't handle this especially if we're going to go get sued or harassed and a lot of times they'll give you a cease and desist 
but who wants to be bothered with that? Just use your creative talents and bring out a wonderful, one-of-a-kind piece of art like we're doing here. So as you see, I have it synced. And I'm gonna make a different, I'm leaving my font like that first of all. I'm just gonna make a bunch of different colors, um, especially in the way of the stillers. This is going on a black gilding shirt, just so you guys know. The camera for working this magic. Yes, sir. Review on this coming soon, too. I love that little back flap back there. It helps prevent the vinyl from actually curling forward, which sucks. It's great. So I decided to add some actual sublimation to this shirt to complete it. And I did make a mess up. And I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do to fix that mess up. But I'm using some sublimation flock. And I used some Vibrant Vibes ink and sublimation paper to add more of a pop to this custom stiller shirt. Now, the image I got off of Etsy, um, fan art, I think it was like $2. Go ahead, invest, get it, and then make something with it. But y'all about to see what's about to happen. So there goes the sublimated image, and here's the mess up that I was telling you guys about. But I'm going to incorporate stillers with some of my vinyl on here. But this is going to add an extra dimension to this shirt. Now, you guys did see me cut up a whole bunch of vinyl, which is over there. And it's going to be placed sporadically all over this shirt to make it pop. That's how you make a one-of-a-kind custom. That's what keeps the customers coming back for more. And that ultimately supersedes your reputation out here to the public. So when people are looking for something real custom and they don't know who to go to, they'll automatically think of you because of your creative talents. Let's finish this custom. Colors is popping though. No rhyme or reason, just gonna start adding colors. As you know, the traditional colors is yellow, black, uh, red, and blue. First layer down. Let's adjust this heat now. I'm still going to be pressing. I don't recommend that you guys do this. However, I'm in a time crunch and I know what I'm doing. Um, make sure that your pressure and everything has been adjusted back to the normal setting once you switch from sublimation to vinyl. If you don't, things could turn catastrophic fairly quick. And when I say quick, I mean real quick. And while that's actually trying to cool down, we're just going to start adding some of the accolades. The Stillers versus the Cowboys, as you can see, the Stillers won. Um, it was Super Bowl, I want to say 10. I'm not sure if that Roman numeral is correct. The score was 17 to 21. This was in 1976. I'm just going to plant that there. Like I said, no rhyme or reason. If you start thinking about it too much, you'll stray away from it. Trust me, I've done it several times. I'm not about to let it happen. It's not happening again. People are going to say, why would you have done it that way? Why wouldn't you just try to make some systematic? Why would you just approach it and you're telling crafters wrong information? No, I'm telling your cra I'm telling my crafters slash the tea game, be creative. Think outside the box because what you're going to do, no one else is going to be able to replicate it. And that's exactly what we do this for. As space frees up and clears up, I will ultimately... Um, you know, move this around, but these dates are going to go all the way around the shirt, hence so many cutouts. It's my daggone graphic. That's what you kind of got to be leery about is the graphic. And as far as the plastic here, cutting into the actual flock, not too concerned with that. It'll fluff back up. No, 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 no. Oh, you definitely don't want that to happen. <laughs> and it happened on camera. I'm glad I got it on camera. 
So it actually peeled this up off the carrier sheet as I am using an old piece of sublimation paper. Don't be like Mike, be better than Mike. See what happened? Not gonna cry over spilled milk though. We're actually gonna keep going forward with this custom. And once again, I will replace those letters down there. I'm kind of geeked that I got that on camera. Show y'all that I don't do this stuff. I'm not perfect. That I make mistakes too, in other words. No one working, walking this earth surface is perfect. They're not going to know that you messed up. Y'all, you will know that I messed up because you guys are actually watching. But for the most part, what we do for that, and since that Y is still left there and you guys see me actually just peel it up, is we're going to actually replace it again with blue this time. Cover that yellow up and put blue there instead. And this time when I go to cover it up, once it's pressed, I will press it with the carrier sheet. I will not use anything but the carrier sheet to avoid this happening again. And basically the heat was still too high. Remember I told you to wait till the heat adjusts. I'm impatient as I have, I have to go get my kids y'all. And I wanna finish this video. I don't wanna leave it on a cliffhanger. So what we're going to do is, Grab some Teflon sheet. Bam. Cover her on up. And why would you put so much into a shirt? Me, because I don't mind it. A lot of people will be like, oh, that's way too much work. I'm not doing that much work. You're putting way too much in it. I could have just got DTF prints. I could have just got this. I could have just got that. Blase this and blase. The negative fancies of the world, they, they still, you know, they're still there. So you guys can actually see it. Try to move my phone real quick. This is what messed up that uh, still just came off of here, but I just replaced it with another cutout. Yes, the little piece of the yellow is there, but I'm not gonna cry over that. And as you can see, almost the thing with the shirt and what's going on right here. I'm about to show them that the Stillers pretty much has been unbeat. The idea being that I'm going for the best custom possible. And I'm going for a custom that hasn't been seen before. That's what I'm going for. Something that's never been done or seen before. By the way, if you would like to know what I'm using to get the job done today, of course, it weeds like butter. That Econo, quit playing with me. With the Econo sublimation fabric. Or no, this is actually flock, not fabric. Because it's like, hit me off with something don't nobody got. I said, I got you. Say less. Now let's hit that back. That back action. So how do we do? Hey, and if I'm thinking about putting it on myself, it's not for me, it's for my cousin. But you can see everything is in there, even the mess up. So I can zoom in. The outline was a little outrageous and my lineup was a little bit off, but I got some fabric markers, so I'm gonna hit that up with some dots to make it look better. Here's the bottom where I actually cut too much, but I didn't want to get rid of it. So I'm going to incorporate some of the Steelers colors in there. But it's got the six Super Bowls that they won and their famous colors. Um, you know what? I probably won't even put a Steelers logo on here. And here's the back. And yes, it's sporadic. It's everywhere. It's a statement. It's going to have people coming up close to it like, what is that? What do you got going on with your shirt? Oh, okay. It's a different six Super Bowls that they've won. Oh, I like how you switched the colors. What made them think of that? How does this creative process come along? That's how. That's how you create a one-of-a-kind masterpiece. Now, there's plenty more hits to do. I'm going to do the arm. And like I just said in here, I'm going to hit this with some of that actual red and blue. with the fabric markers to make it come out. Um... But yeah, to me, don't look too bad.
As always, break the sky with your creativity. Don't let nobody stop you or get in your way of what is yours, what is destined for you. Don't let nobody get in this space up here and tell you that you are less than because you're not. And if you listen to them, well, then you be sitting right beside them on the bench. As for me, I'm going to stay positive. I'm going to stay productive. I'm going to stay gritting to it like I'm supposed to. It's your boy, Mike Tease. I appreciate y'all coming and rocking with me. As always, I will catch you on the next one. I'm out.